Hello and welcome to Jo Beth Sexton's Crafty Cauldron. Help! I'm drowning. I don't know what it is, but right now everyone is doing scrap busting and you know it's contagious. So I am going to go at it from a slightly different angle. I haven't seen anybody do this. I'm sure it's not my original idea, but I am going to work with my strips, my offcuts. So I'm going to just clear some of this away and make sure I've got my space all figured out here so you guys can see. Um, and I'm going to go to town. Here's what I'm doing. I am making, it's going to be like um, a background. It could be a background. It could be for tags. It could be for pockets. It could be for, you know, like if you make a... a gusset for your pocket or, or a pocket and then you glue something to the front of it uh that kind of a thing what i'm doing is i'm doing a basket weave so here we go find yourself some strips some off cuts if you don't have strips but you have bigger pieces tearing ruler is wonderful um here's how i start mine i get a long piece and i'm just going to cut or you can use your tearing ruler if you want the, the t torn edge. No biggie, of course. Cut like that, not all the way to the end. And the only reason I'm not going all the way to the end is because this is going to offer you a little bit of support with your, your pieces so they don't fly around and get all crazy. And then with this one, uh, I'm going to do the same. This is a magazine, it's an old book page. It was a book I found at Goodwill. Lots and lots of pretty flower pictures in it. Nice and bright. Springtimey. Found it last year. Um, anyway, so the way that I'm going to start is I'm just going to tuck them in like this. You see how I've got that? And, and then I'm going to just like start it like that. Now, you can trim it. You can cut these all the way down. I suggest leaving at least one starting point attached so you can cut this one like if you want to cut this one all the way to the end go for it in fact let's just do that there we go so okay here's what i'm going to do i've got this aline's tacky glue that i'm going to be using my aline's tacky glue is really tacky and i don't know if that's normal but i'm just going to start the way that I'm going to start is I'm just going to tack this down here and you want to kind of get to the edge and you might have to use a little bit of, you know, a lot of glue, <laughs> a lot. And, um, you just, you just tack that down like that. You kind of want to get it straight because if you get it straight, it's easier to work with. You don't have gaps and stuff like that. But, um, basically, yeah, just basket weave. Now, um, your basket weave design it does not have to be all the same let's see that just glop some glue on there and um you've got your your page underneath you in case the glue gets you know crazy and and squishes out but um you just do that for now then you want to take your second piece and we don't need hitchhikers and <laughs> you want to kind of you want to line it up for it would help if I put the glue down right you want to kind of line it up first so you've got you've got it basically where you want it and you know what I think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna flip it around just for variety in fact I think I'm gonna go with another type of paper right there here's a good piece this is just a scrap of um, parchment it's actually light blue I don't know if you can see that but it's very very pale so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in there with this and it doesn't have to go all the way to the end because you're using glue you can you can put you know you can add a piece down there if you want to later no biggie this is what we do okay so I'm gonna glue that down I'm gonna take my glue all the way to the end and if it gushes out all the better because then you know you've got your glue all the way to the end of your of your um, edge of your paper not end of it in too but edge also and then let's see, I've got this funky um, 
it's cardstock, but it's textured. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of kind of textured. It's got lines going on it. So I'm going to tuck that in right about there. And on the other side, it's going to show that that little ripply end. So I'm just going to fold that and just bring that up so I can see what I'm doing. And throw down some glue. Where's my cap? There we go. And I'm going to tuck it as close to the other one as I can get it. I really want it to be close so there's fewer, fewer gaps. There we go. And it's okay if it's crooked. It doesn't really matter. Um, ultimately, you can make it look straight again. You know, glue, scissors, tearing ruler. Uh, let's see. Let's do something neutral and long and neutral. How about that? Here we go. This is a good one. And yeah, I have tons of, tons of off cut. I just finished a couple of journals and I'm going to do flip throughs on those real soon. And then they'll be listed in my Etsy store. Links below. Please check me out. Um, so I am just going to go to town on this. You can stay if you'd like. Um, got tips and stuff for you coming up. Always have tips and stuff for you. Because um, I am uh, just like that. So what I'm going to do now that I've got that second one in there is I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to glue all of the ones that are overlapping. You just pull them back, throw your glue down. This one's overlapping as well, so you want to kind of pull that one up and remember which way it goes. Push that down. And this one. Push that down. You know, kind of just squish it so the glue comes out. And I'm I'm of the philosophy that if it doesn't go straight over and there's a little wrinkle, emphasize it. You can ink it later and it's going to look great. Wrinkles, they look. I think they look cool because you can ink them and they make the paper look a little bit more aged and used. So there's that. Oh, here's a good one. This is a, a, a lightweight cardstock. Uh, parchment kind of card star. It's really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep working on this side a little bit. I don't know if I can get this all figured out. I usually put my glue down, but I'm excited right now. I just was working on another piece of this, and it came out really good. So I thought I'd turn the camera on and just kind of... Oh, that was... <laughs> I got glue all over. Hold on. thought I'd just turn on my camera and, and show you guys what I'm doing in case you're interested because I would be just sitting here playing with my scraps and I have been thinking about doing this for a couple of days so I just um I just turned in I just wanted to do it just threw it together so now let's see and uh, there's another piece of parchment thin parchment it's like copy paper parchment so let's do that one you can just tuck it in there like that and you want to it, it helps if you glue it down it will help you keep it straight so you kind of want to like start from the end from the edge of your paper and glue that down and kind of hold it for a couple seconds so it it takes and then you're going to See, this is under, so this one goes over. This one goes under, over, under. And there you have that basket weed portion. So since we're on this side, let's go ahead and that one's glued down. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Glue. I hear the mail truck. Our mail lady's so sweet. When I was feeling very, very poorly, she asked me if there was anything I, she could do for me, if anything I needed. And I just, I told her, that's so nice of you, but I, I, my husband works from home and, and he's here with me and he takes care of me. He's a good guy. Okay, so I'm gonna flip that over. 
Oh, look at that. We have a hitchhiker again. Get off of there. And you can use the shorter pieces. Um, I would recommend if you're going to use a shorter piece like this, try and get it the same width because that's going to look better on your, on your basket weave. So we've got this one. Squish. And this one. And later on, if you find, you know, they're not sticking as well as you would like them to, heck, man, art glitter glue and that little metal tip. Go to town. Go to town. My husband and I kind of have this running joke. Um, we, we like the movie Lost Boys. And at one point in that movie, um, Corey Haim and, and his grandpa, whoever I can't, I don't know who the actor's name is, um, what the actor's name is, but the grandpa, they're going out. Grandpa goes, hey, you want to go to town? And Corey Haim's character is like, yeah, let's go to town. He goes, okay, come on with me. He goes to the garage, and there's this old, awesome vintage car. And I don't know cars, so, you know, I don't know what kind of car it is. But um, it's really cool. And um, so he gets in the car, and he, he starts it up. It, the grandpa does. And of course, Corey Haynes' character gets in the car, too. He's sitting in the passenger side, and he's, you know, all excited because they're going to town. Well, Grandpa goes, okay, we're going to town. And Corey Haynes' character's like, cool. And then he turns the motor off. And Corey Haynes like, wait. Grandpa gets out of the car and goes, that's as close to town as I'm ever getting. <laughs> uh, well, it's a vampire movie, you know, so vampires doesn't go to town of course Corey Haim's character doesn't know he knows about the vampires yet and grandpa doesn't you know he doesn't he's not so forthcoming with his information so I'm gonna basket weave this one see how skinny that one is though but look at the contrast that it makes it's all it's gray it's it's gray and it's pretty and, and it kind of makes that contrast now this one is a little tight right here so what I've done is I've just kind of forced it up and then I'm going to glue it like that. And it doesn't matter because that does eliminate the gap in that little corner and it will help it um, have more structure and stability. So that's kind of what you want to do. It's kind of what you want to do. Now here, what I'm going to do, because these are all going to be the same color. But what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'll show you. I'm just going to fix that in a minute. And you can see that I've got a gap here. But it's not going to matter as long as these strips are close to the joint. As long as they are taking up the space, you can have a little bit of a gap here. And it won't matter. So let me hold that up a little bit. You see the gap right here? As long as these, this, the ones going this way, are tight, then this gap isn't going to matter too much. Okay, so let's let's just do this. Glue, and that's our anchor. So we want to, for heaven's sake, we want to get that snugly in there, like that. And then we'll continue on with the ones on this side. And then we're going to flip the paper over again. And we're going to attach it. We want to get it snugly in there before it dries, before it sets. Before the glue gets glued. And then this one. And I am using paper and cardstock. And book pages, and well, I would will be using book pages, and um, uh, shiny pages. It's it's really not going to matter as long as you get it all in there snugly. Okay, let's flip it over and see these all all these tails that aren't glued down. We're going to glue those down. And yeah, it might take a lot of glue, but you know, it looks really cool. It looks really cool. And granted, yes, this is a little crooked. It's a junk journal, you know. It's, it's got its own little charm that needs some on the end there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I, how I take care of this. Because it doesn't have a, it has a, a pattern, 
but it's not an under and over thing. I need something here, right? Sort of like this, just to continue my pattern. So I'm going to use, I've got these pages with a lot of neat colors on them from the old children's Bible. So I'm going to just, mm, which color set do I want? I think I'll do, I think I'll do the long side. I think I'll do this one right here. And I'll just, yeah, I know it's easier that way. <laughs> Ready? There. It's okay if it's crooked because it's going to be on the end here. So we tuck it in there like that. Okay. Now, if you feel more comfortable, you can always take that extra bit off. So it fits in there more snugly and symmetrically. So I'm just going to do that and show you. Come on, you. Ragged doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's relaxing. Okay, so there we have that. Now see how pretty that looks? So we're gonna we're gonna do this. Oops. Messy art is fun. That's what I always say. Messy art is fun art. So we've got that one in there, and if we turn it over, we can see. Let's see, we've done our little our little basket weave and we can even fix that the same way if you want to fix it if you don't and you just want to leave it then leave it it's your creative license you are building it so we're going to put a bunch of glue here and I am going to pull it down snugly so there's not so much of a gap and that's going to create a wrinkle which is fine so oops I forgot to glue that part so now I'm going to get my glitter glue and I'm going to tuck this inside and under there. And what I'm ultimately wanting to do is squish the glue outward. Like that. So this goes... There we go. That's better. And yes, I'm covered with glue now. Do I care? Nope. I don't care. That's what it's all about. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Oh, let's see. Is there a longish piece? Yeah, that one will work. And we glue down. We got ourselves glued down. But that's okay, too, because it's a junk journal. Okay. Let's do our weave. Weave back and forth. And this is a piece of an old book page that I'm using at the moment. In here. I'm just going to show you. See how this is not meeting right here? That is another one of those places where I'm just going to force it to conform to the idea that I have in my head. You see how that works? You just kind of pull it and snug it up inside of there, inside between the two pieces, just like that. So we've got that basket weave. And there we go. I'm going to glue the end down with my Eileen's, Eileen's glue. Like that. And then this. And then this one. It's on the same side. And then this one. Let's move that out of the way before I glue it down, because you know I would. Uh, let's put some glue here. Make sure we get close to the edge. There we go. There you are. It's coming along. It's coming along nicely. See that? So now when it's dry, you can cut your shapes. You can cut out tags. You can do pockets. You can do all kinds of stuff. Um, I really love working with it this way because it's... Um, oh, look at those long pieces. Those nice long pieces. I'm going to go the other way this time. 
This is a great way to use up offcuts, especially if they're straight and you don't really, you know, you don't want to spend a whole lot of time tearing them down into different shapes and stuff. You can do this. It's, it's, it's cool. Oh, and I even have a little bit of mulberry paper, which actually I think I'm going to save that for a cluster. So this is all been tucked. We snug it up next to that one. And feel free if you want to, you know, another thing that you can do instead of just putting it in there, especially if it's like really nice paper, clear paper like that. And I just re-inked this little stamp, so, I mean, this pad, the ink. So it's got a lot of ink in it, which I like. I like that. I like the color. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink the whole thing. And if I have some hanging out the edge, I'm going to leave it for now. And then um, later on, when I have done the basket weave, as far as I want to, I will be tearing off the edge of the page if there's any left. So one side. Second side. Flip side. Like a record. <laughs> Just dated myself, didn't I? <laughs> a record. A vinyl record. Yes. The flip side. Remember those old 45s? The flip side was, you know, one side was the hit and the other side was was uh, the flip side. And frequently the flip side of the hit of the 45 would become like a sleeper hit. And then it would become really popular and people would look for it and go, oh, wait, where, where can I find that? Oh, it was on the flip side of the 45 of this song, whatever song it was, you know, published to be the hit or was already the hit so it was extremely difficult to find it that happened a lot with stevie nicks stuff i'm a stevie nicks fan super huge stevie nicks fan okay so tuck that in there now do you see how look how cool that looks with the ink on it come on focus little camera you can do it there you go okay so we're gonna Continue on just a little bit. This video is not going to be that long because there's really no point, but I kind of wanted to go a little bit further. So we're going to go a little bit further because I like doing this and, you know, hanging with you guys. And I hope you like hanging with me too. I can talk your ear off. Oh, there's that puppy. Hi, Mark. Hi. There's my husband. And the dog, it's a Jack Russell Terrier. His name is Jack. He's a, he's old, he's a senior dog. So he has issues, but you know, that's okay. Us old folks get issues. It happens. But he does have a companion cat. He does have a companion cat, that is, that is true. He's, our cat is like his best buddy right now. It's so cute. I think I'm going to save that for clusters, too. That's that's like handmade black paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Just love that stuff. Anyway. So, yeah. Look what I found! <laughs> okay, I've got another page of that herb book. I think I'm going to tuck that in there. So, we'll tuck that in there. So, I have, on this side, I have the herb book printed with the text. And then I have, on this side, I'm going to use the, the flowery side. It's got like sage, and it looks like two different kinds of sage. It's purple and red, which I absolutely, I love that stuff. It's so beautiful. We're getting them down there to have to supplement. You can see how this is... This is going to need to have a, another little add-on right here. So let me hold that up because it's kind of hard to see. So this is the one that I just put in, and it doesn't have anything left to go. Oh, it's got a tail, but that's not going to be big enough. And now I just moved my glue, my glue piece. Thank goodness I have a couple seconds before it grabs. 
Okay, there we go. There we go. Now it's all snuggly. So that is, I'm going to supplement that part right there with another add-on part. So it'll be like, there'll be something over that and then it'll continue on. I might just use that red piece. So here we go. Put the glue in you. More glue here. Some glue here. And I'm I'm kind of making a square and then like you glue when you're gluing something onto the back of a tag, making a square and then putting an X in the middle of it and then going around in circles because it seems to that technique seems to put enough glue on to hold it well. I don't always use the same thing. It's boring. <laughs> For me anyway. And it doesn't a lot of the time it doesn't matter how you glue it with this it doesn't really matter how you glue whereas with something that you really want to get the edges it would matter so we're gonna we're gonna do that okay i think i missed a spot here nope i didn't i just missed the squishing it down okay let's see what else oh this is neat it's black and white it's from an old doily book from the 60s so we're gonna do that this time in and out, see back and forth, and pull that one up like that. Basket weave scrap busting. Everybody is doing it. I figured I would play along. Because I watch all these videos, and while I'm watching all these videos, I just craft. I just do it. I just, you know, whatever I feel like doing at the time. I'm creating a portfolio, a special order portfolio for a friend of mine. I would like to say she's a good friend of mine because I feel like we're related or something. We're just, we just, there's, we have a lot in common. And then um, I'm also working on a, another alternative type junk journal that will be, um, it's going to take a little while because it's, um, it's a specialty type of item, and I, I uh, don't even want to, shh, I don't want to tell yet, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, shh, I'm putting my finger up to my lips. You guys can't even see that. How funny. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So there we're getting, we're snuggling that down a bit. Okay. Yeah, I, I am a messy, messy crafter. I'm going to move some of that stuff over. I just like throwing myself into it. Both feet and both hands. All the glue I can <laughs> squeeze out of the bottle. So there you go. Um, there. Okay. It's all crooked. I love it crooked. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, find something that is roughly that width. Or make something, and you know, if I've got an off cut, I can always tear it. You know what? I think I. Yeah, do I want to use that? I don't know. Mm. I think I want to use something longer. I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to tear it with my ruler, which is a coffee dyed piece of paper. It's about that wide, I guess. There we go. Oops, missed a spot. That's okay. So we're going to go like this, and glue that down, whoops, stand up, and let's see, let's put this little tail on top of it because that will, that will continue on with the, um, and it won't look so much like this piece that's next to it, so we can do that. Mm. Glue. Oops, so my fingers are sticky. <laughs> oh, imagine that, right? <laughs> oh, do you have glue in your fingers? Hmm. There we go. Flip that back into the glue. Continue weaving. There we go. There we go. 
And at the end, you can you can either trim the edges or you can leave it like it is and have a rough edge, you know, a rustic primitive type of look or something like that. Let's see. Um, let's try a book page. Let's do a book page. Here's my ruler. And I'm going to... I'm going to cut this tear this here and then I'm going to ink it so it has some kind of a, a little bit of a contrast on it and I'm thinking you know it might actually be cool to um, to ink in different colors however there are many many other things that you can do to color your um, your papers that will work in a junk journal and also be, you know, easy to do. Um, one of those things is uh, water-based markers. Um, you can just make little hash marks. It's a technique used in art where people, you know, they add texture and shading just with the hash mark. The closer together they are, the darker it is, and the further the apart they are, the, the lighter it's gonna look. So um, using that for something like this is also an alternative. In fact, I can just take mine down and I can show you that. See, there we go. That's all snuggly in there. Very few spaces. I'm not asking for perfection. I just am looking to have some fun and use up some scraps. There we go. Uh, let's see here. There we go. That'll work. And then let's just continue on along this side. And get all the tails on this side. Like this. Like that. And put that there. There we are. Now move my ruler so I don't flip it and it goes flying because that would be too funny oh my god if my husband saw something like that he would laugh he'd probably tease me for a week <laughs> which is okay I don't care I know there's glue on the back of that so I got to be careful about not gluing it down to the paper that I have underneath here so there's that one and this one and there we have that one. Let's see, what else do we have? Let's, uh, oh, here's a good long one. It's a little darker colored. So let's do that one. And that's um, the top piece of a piece of um, toned hands drawing paper. I am also a, a professional artist, so I have a, a lot of drawing paper. <laughs> And I use it sometimes for my for my journals because I put it's intended for people to draw on. But I mean, people, you can use it for whatever you you can draw on it. You can write on it. You can tear it out and use it for an airplane. It doesn't matter to me. Um, but it's um, it's really nice paper, and I have a lot of it. And and I like to put quality things into the journals, not just you know pages from anywhere but oh pardon me I shouldn't pick the glue off my fingers while I'm playing with you guys because it's boring but anyway yeah so I I um I use sometimes I use some of this paper it's also you know you can get it in gray and tan and you can get um, different kinds of paper and different kinds of colors it's all kinds of colors you can get so I don't know that's another alternative as well so I'm gonna glue these tails down and then I'm gonna pull out some um, markers and um we'll see what we can do because that might be an idea it might i don't know maybe it'll inspire someone to use markers i know um there are people out there that color they use the acrylics and i uh, watch them too and, and i i get all kinds of inspired from them it's just wonderful this community is is so full of creativity so let's see we've got i believe these are water-based they're not um i haven't used them in so long i've forgotten but 
these Prismacolor Premier art markers. Let's see. It's a brush and fine tip. And they're they're not um, they're they're not super cheap, but they're they're not super expensive either. And you can buy them open stock, which means you can buy them one at a time if you want to, or three, or you know how many ever. Um, okay, these are alcohol dye based, which is okay because that's permanent. Once you get it that color down, it's down. It it will stay. So I've got this nice white piece of paper here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear it with my ruler and make it of this size to be able to work with it easily in this little basket weave. So let's just do that. And I believe that this is a piece of white sketch pad paper. So a little bit, a little bit different than drawing paper. The texture is a little bit different, but it, it's still quality paper. Don't worry. So let's see here. Let's just try something nice and bright. How about red? Red. Okay. These brush, these markers, the alcohol-based markers. So they kind of smell a little bit, but they've got these little notches on the um, caps. There's notches on the caps so they don't roll. And they are, one side is a fine tip. And sometimes the caps are hard to get off, but I, I like that because that way they don't dry out. This one's a bullet tip. And this one's a brush tip. So you've got, they're really versatile for the price. They're, they're amazing. So I'm gonna use the bullet tip, which is a fine tip. And you know, because our basket weave is like is like this. Oh, I just threw my cap. Why don't we go like this? So we can just like go like di on the diagonal. And it doesn't take long. Alcohol markers will go through the page, most pages, most papers, unless they're really thick marker paper. Or something like illustration board or something like that um, so when you're doing this you've got a slight shadow unless you go slower if I go slower it's gonna fade through see it's fading through and if you want it to fade through you just go slower maybe go back over and then you can have it you know a ghost anyway I'm gonna continue on There you go. And that's all I'm going to do. Just adding a little bit of color and texture, a little interest, and tucking that in there. Now let's see, which side do I want to put the color on? It doesn't matter. It's pretty much the same on both sides, but this side has more color. See, this side has more color with the purple and the purple. And the, I think that's this side has more color. Oh, it's distributed more evenly anyway. So I think I'm just going to do this one. And I'm going to put that there. So, you know, you can doctor it up. Now, this one, it, the tail is really short here. See that? So I am going to have to supplement that. I'm going to have to add on something there to make it look right. But I'm not done with my whole surface yet. So that's okay. So we're going to weave that and weave it in and out. There we go. And now we have a candy stripe. Neato. Okay, get my glue, put my pins aside, up there on my shelf. I have a, a drop cloth hanging over the back of my chair and it's permanently there. And the reason why is because I continually need to <laughs> wipe off my glues and my hands. And um, it's, it's really convenient to have it hanging there and um, that way I don't have to get up every time I need something wiped. You know, if I need the glue bottle wiped off, I don't have to get up and go get a paper towel or a washcloth or something. I can just, I can just do that. I can just turn around and wipe it off. And yes, it is, it is gluey. But I mean, what isn't? <laughs> I have got my 
a little basket weave backwards here. So I'm just going to leave that there. Hold that down. So you saw what I did there, right? Okay. In and out. This one goes over. There we go. Back and forth. There we go. And then here. And there we are. That's better. That's better. Because now when we... When we have something over the top of that one, it's it's going to look right. So yeah, um, it makes more sense that way. Oh, knocked over my glue again. I'm gonna put that over there. Okay, so we're gonna glue this tail down. It's a, like a placeholder. And that one. And that one. And now we're going to flip it over and we're going to glue these tails down and this tail just keep going to the end until we have them all glued down and yeah I have like tons of paper um, a friend of ours a friend of my husband's actually had a, had a has an uncle that had a printing company and he, for some reason, he ordered a bunch of paper and he wasn't able to use it. And I'm not sure why he wasn't able to use it, but he was like, I'm just going to throw it away. Do you want it? And I was like, I didn't know what I was going to use it for. At the time, I was making leather bound, very, very simple leather bound journals. And I, I, yeah, I was like, dude, yes. Oh my God. Thank you. So, you know, sometimes good things happen. That's that's what where I've I got a bunch of paper. I've got like a, tons of this textured cardstock and and um, a whole bunch of yellow bright yellow paper and now um, oh, that reminds me, if anyone would be interested in some bright yellow construction type paper, uh, leave me a comment below the video and and I can put it in my Etsy store because. That would be super easy. I mean, easy. I already have the Etsy store. Might as well, right? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and tear this and use the book page. Oh, and you know what I need to do first, though? I need to take something and supplement this tail, and that's not wide enough. Let's see. Is this wide enough? That's wide enough. I'm just going to glue that end on there and I'm not going to tear it off yet. Because, oh, you know what? There's two pieces there. <laughs> because uh, I don't need to, A, and B, I don't know how far I'm going. So there you go. There's the glue and there's the glue on. So there we are with that. We continued our little basket weave. And you know, I, I really don't, probably don't need to show you more than that. Um, I, I think I've gotten the idea across, so um, there's your basket weave base. Um, let me know, post post in the comments if you're going to try it. If you do try it, post it in, I have an Instagram and the link is in my YouTube channel banner. It's a little, you know, a little Instagram icon. Um, go there, find me, follow me and tag me when you, if you use this, because I would love to see it. I would love to see it. I love seeing what people do with my, my ideas. Just like any of you would love to see what people do with your ideas. So, um, yeah, that'd be fun. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and go. And I thank you all for watching. Please, if you can, if you would, like, subscribe, and share my videos. Um, I have a Facebook page for this channel. It's called Crafty Cauldron Crafts and Coloring because I also color. And I have a website, an Etsy store, a blog, Instagram, and they're all linked somewhere. So please find it in your heart to check me out, look at my stuff, and let me know if you subscribe to my channel. I'll go subscribe to your channel, and we can support each other that way, if nothing else. So thank you so much. Peace. Love. Remember, it's not about the destination. It is about the journey. Make it a happy, crafty, and colorful one. I'll see you later. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.